Bringing you the first alert ahead of a big batch of road projects. Yeah, warmer temps are allowing construction season to begin. And right now, lawmakers in Jefferson City are trying to step on the gas and give the green light to widening I-70. This is a specific zone that is being targeted is in St. Charles and Warren counties. This would go from Wentzville West to Warrenton. News 4's Alex Gall is in Wentzville this evening explaining why this project could get fast lane priority. Yeah, good evening, Sam and Corey. This is the Wentzville Parkway interchange behind it. We just checked on our phones. The traffic is a bit east of here right now, where 70 meets up with 64, but it's orange and red traffic slowed down a lot. And it's something that residents say has been getting worse here in this area as of late, especially in the summertime. And this area, again, is growing in population. So the goal now is to take I-70 from two lanes to three on each side where 70 and 61 break off and it just seems to back up further and further nowadays. Ann Raymond and her husband own a storage business in St. Charles County. So they're on I-70 often. According to MoDOT, they are two of more than 80,000 that use the Wentzville Parkway interchange every day, coming from and going to St. Louis. It's kind of unavoidable, um, but you know, it's something that needs to be done because we are growing out here. If you're heading out of Winsville, it's nothing, but coming back, it it could be like up to an hour. MoDOT has been looking for ways to improve traffic flow along the I-70 corridor for years, and 70 between Wentzville and Warrington is one of the areas being targeted by a new multi-billion dollar plan pushed by Springfield State Senator Lincoln Huff's office. It would be welcomed by area residents. Opening up the highway a little bit and just having like alternative routes. The I-70 renovations would cost nearly 860 million, focused on multiple areas across the state, including here in Wentzville, using state tax dollars and bonds to widen the road, not only to improve traffic flow, but also to help state commerce flow better. It's worth it for safety, I think. People's lives or money is not an object. It is not a done deal, though. The construction plan received preliminary approval in the House, and the Senate is working to add it into next year's budget. But for now, the traffic persists. I've noticed it's a lot busier, and so they probably do need to open up 70 a little bit. Now we reached out to State Senator Huff's office. The spokesperson says he won't be issuing a statement on this until after that appropriations bill were to pass the legislature. That could come in the next couple of weeks or so. It is just one of many construction projects going on across Missouri right now, guys. A lot to watch out on the roads. All right, Alex, thank you.